This morning, we celebrate the 17 brave students who initially integrated Norfolk Public Schools. February marks 60 years since the group of black students joined white students in six schools. In this Hidden History Report, Teddy Sides Keanu Patterson shares the story of one of the students keeping the legacy alive. It is truly amazing what happened because of 17 young students. Dr. Patricia Turner was one of those students responsible for changing Norfolk forever. I remember as if it was yesterday. Now at 74 years old, Dr. Turner spends her time telling the story of sacrifice and hard work to students throughout Hampton Roads. When I went to middle school, it didn't look like this. Ahead of her eighth grade year in 1958, she went through a tedious selection process. Historian Dr. Charles Ford explains the school entrance interviews weren't always fair. If you look at the notes from the uh, officials that interviewed the students, the notes are just obviously blatantly racist. Later that same year, the governor, J. Lindsay Almond, shut down six white schools in Norfolk to keep African-American students out as a part of the massive resistance movement. To this day, I still don't understand why Virginia would close their schools at Norfolk particularly, putting out 10,000 white students. But on February 2nd, 1959, the district reopened the schools after students petitioned, then began Turner's lonely school experience. That year, I was in the eighth grade at the middle school. I was knocked down the steps. I was spit in the face. My papers were taken from me and torn apart. But yeah, I didn't miss any day. I kept going. She says it was all worth it to make the change for future generations. We had to make sure that our grades were on tap. Because you see, we were carrying you. We were carrying each and every one of you. 11 of the Norfolk 17 members are still alive, but Dr. Turner wants people to remember the group's legacy. We posted more of our exclusive interview on wavy.com. Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.